Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm going to tell you how to use the wonderful option of wonderful formula of match with this approximate and exact options. All right. Well, to do that, we first have to have a list of CD of data array, uh, which needs to be sorted ascend in ascending order. That means uh, lowest value first, then the highest value. All right. Lower to higher. And these are the permutations that I mentioned. Okay, we want to look for a number which is not here, but is certainly in between uh, the series, in between uh, the is between the ranges, and then the exact number, and then a number which is greater than the last number in the series, and a number which is lower than what is there in the list. All right. So. We'll see how to use the match function now. Is equal to M A T C H. So what do you want to look up? This is lookup value. This is what I want to look up. Now see this 125 doesn't uh, exist exactly in this list. It is between a range of 100 and 150. All right. So what would match do? It would try to find this number in this lookup array and when we give it this approximate range which is one so we have to give the option one which is approximate when we press enter see it is giving me this position one it says that means excel is uh, trying to find this number here it kept 125 in mind went searching here okay no this is not 125 went here okay this is 150 so again came back okay so 125 lies between 150 so the best answer is 100 which is position is 1 so that is how it works so what would happen in this case exact greater than and less than so let's see so to do that what we can do is we can simply just copy the formula around so to copy this formula uh, we would like this e4 to become f4 here to become g4 here to become h4 here in this formula right but we would not like this list to move. So what can we do is we can, in India, we call it Bambufai. Yani ki means <laughs> you actually fix it. <laughs> Bambufai refers to actually the, the tall bamboo tree. So it's, it's quite rigid and long and tall and all that aspects. So let's Bambufai it and fix it by pressing F4. So there it is bambooified. <laughs> now you can copy it across, <laughs> do a control C and a control V. <laughs> I'm sure since you're learning match formula in this video, I don't need to tell you how to do a control C or a control V, right? <laughs> so uh, now the answer is two over here. In the case of exact, yes, the, uh, the relative position of 150 is two over here in this list one two three four let me give you a relative position also one two three oh three four five six seven eight all right and greater than the last value the last value in this list is ten thousand and we have twenty thousand over here so excel has found the best match to be ten thousand and less than and has given an na and quite simple because this this number doesn't exist even at the only number that exists the even the first number in the list is greater than this so it certainly would give a an a now you know just now we did we this was the range and this was the list right this is a vertical list how about if this list was horizontal in a row how do we do that well i'm doing it using the transpose function i am actually Converting this vertical row, vertical column into a horizontal row. Right click SE, transpose. I have taught this function in a separate video called transpose and paste special. Try that. It's a good one. So now we have it here. Now, how would match work? Let's see. Is equal to MATCH. This is my lookup value, comma and which is my lookup array now my lookup array is horizontal 
Now, since I'm aware ki I would be copying this formula across, right? We would be doing that. So, why not bamboo fight right now? Okay, so let's do that. Select the range. Press F4 right here. Ah, it's got bamboo fight. Cool. One. And now, copy it across. And you see, match function works. It not only works on horizontal or on vertical, it also works on horizontal. It doesn't care where what your data stack or array is like, whether it is vertical or horizontal, unlike we look up. Right? So that's a very good feature of match formula. Now let's try to do the exact match also. All right? Is equal to match lookup value this comma and this is my array bamboo fire it <laughs> comma and zero exact match and a see 150 exists exists in this list so we have the relative position two mentioned the others do not exist so they have the answer is returned as an A. Well, this Excel file that you're looking at in this video is available for free download on my website, myelesson.org. This is the website. You can go to this website and go to the Excel training video section and download the file from here. Just click on the video, any video, uh, just click on the video and click on this download file button and you will be able to find the download the file all right well until then this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy excel learning